Hi guys, hope everyone is doing really well. Been to the car boot this morning buying junk. This is most of the older junk I bought and then I bought a load of newer junk and I don't need any of it and I don't know why I bought any of it but I, I was on a field and I think I was a bit mad because it was the first one of the year and I just I just went a bit mental. I just couldn't help myself um, um, and I was just excited. I don't know what, I just, I anyway, it is what it is now. The buyer's remorse is setting in by the minute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. Right, so right, let's get into the get into what what I bought. Um, the first thing I bought was this footprint wrench. It's a real beauty, and the guy wanted fifty p for it. And um, but I gave all my footprint wrenches away, and I, it's got one of these small screws, and I've got this like cross-headed nut on my really rare backhoe version of a footprint. And I wonder if they are similar. Let me see um, if that screws in. Let's have a look. If this screws in, we're in. It was worth it, the price of admission. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. We've got a knurled screw now, what looks legit. All I've got to do is somehow mess about with that so you can't see a footprint on it. And it'll look like an original screw. Because that was doing my head in that was that that didn't have a proper screw it only had this weird oversized bolt which has been stuck through it so that works unscrews out a dream it's a very similar thread and it seems to screw in it seems to go in these holes oh it screws in the back of that doesn't it it seems to go really nicely so that's the highlight for me today yeah that fits wonderful brilliant so um <clears throat> If you want Matt Nash, just let me know and I'll keep it aside for next time I post something for you. I mean, you might be able to keep the top jaw or something. If you want it, Nash, you can have it, but I don't want it. Um, right, so that's that. I bought one of these. It's a solid brass, number 77. I bought one of these on eBay for probably around a tenner. I can't remember now. It was a while ago. And I bought this one this morning for a pound. So... Ooh, heel, what can you do? What can you do anyway? And um, off the same stall, I bought this one as well, and this was also a pound. I don't need a pig sticker, he had several, but I couldn't leave it because it was a sorby. At least I thought it was a sorby, it says looks like mossily. It's like mossily. I thought it was a sorby. Oh, my eyes defeated me on the car boot. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I own it now, pound. I can't complain. Um, we've got three sets of glasses. Um, I like making Instagram. I thought they'd be kind of cool items. The guy wanted a fiver, but as I constantly buy him breakfast, I said three, he went, yeah, no worries. I think he would have given me if I asked, but I gave him five, which was kind of cool. So at uh, three, so I thought that was kind of interesting. So yeah, so that was good. Um, we got these. These are um, sort of... Um, opera glasses kind of cool opera glasses um really nice um i bought these i paid the guy he wanted 30 quid and i managed to bat him down to 17 pound after a good haggle no 18 pound shall i say after a good haggle he gave me two quid back so 18 pound um you can tell me if they work or not can you see let me know anyway i thought they were kind of cool so i bought those um this is another off another dealer. This is an old shell. This has been shot, um, and you can see here it's um, it's obviously hit something, um, and um, I'm probably just going to get some adhesive and adhesive that in, um, or I could just keep my drugs in there, or in my case some Haribos hide from the wife. So the the dealer wanted twenty quid. I gave him fifteen. I thought it was cool, and I'm going to stick it on the shelf somewhere for confined space. We got this rather cool, which I do love. This brass screwdriver. Um, has it got a name on it? it just says made in England. I think. I don't know if you can see that. It says made in England. Um, but it's just brass, and it's got a nice. You know, you can turn it because it's got a. So I just thought that was really nice bit of brass. That. So that was. Uh, in a job lot with these two. We've got a wobbly sort of off center um, ray, ray bone. Um, the springs are gone on that, I need to, anyway. And then we got this, I thought this was kind of nice, but 
when I look at it, it's probably from the 80s or something. It's actually a, a Draper. But the, it's weird, isn't it? Made in Holland, Draper. And it's got quite a nice writing on it. But it must be, can't be that old if it's got a Draper. Draper's quite modern. Anyway, I paid £2 for the three. Um, I think the screwdriver is the nicest out of that lot for me. Um, we've got these Vice well, Gorilla Grips. Um, I just like the box. Um, um, it says foreign. Um, I asked the guy, I said, how much is those grips a pound? He went, no, they're for a collector. I said, well, how do you know I'm not a collector? And he went, just put them down, mate. He said, I want four pound for them. I said, four pound. I said, bloody hell. I said, even Dick Turpin wore a mask when he was robbing you. So he said, he said, he said, he said, look, I told you you weren't going to buy them because the, they're because it's got the box there, collector them. He said, the collector I went, oh. I said, I don't, I'll go three on it, mate. He went, ah, you can have it for three. That's all right. But you know, they're collectible. I said, I don't really know anything about collectible tools, but you know, I, I just like, I just said, I just need a pair of ice grips, you know, for the, I haven't got one. So that was three. Um, that that's collectible apparently, because it's because the guy said so. So it must be good. Um, that's all that load of junk. Let's shift it out of the way. Now this is the guess the price in this video. And um, the guy wanted good money for this. This is a beautiful, I would say, nineteen thirties travel, um, travel chess set in lovely order. Um, I really like it. Um, and what's really cool is the chap who owned it was a clockmaker and he lost his horse or his knight, whichever you want to call it. And this one's the original and you can see he's carved another one to match. And I thought that was rather nice. So I had to pay big money for this, you know, more than the vice grips or gorilla grips anyway. Big, big money. But I just liked it. Lovely hat, lovely condition. Um, it's stamped here. British Chest Company Stroud Glossop. I'm going to guess that's right, but I doubt it. Um, I just like, look, I mean, just the way that these have survived, not been broken, re-glued. Lovely condition. Folds away. Bit tight on that side. Folds away. And then it's got a hook here to hook it in. And a hook here to hook it in. And I just think, rather nice. Um, really nice inlay. Lovely. Looks like... I don't know what sort of wood that is. It looks a bit like box wood to me, but it might be teak. I don't know. Anyway, nice piece of wood, nice chest set, opens up, lovely jubbly. So that's your guess today. We've got a vintage chest set. Um, what's my favourite item today um, on the cab? For out of this haul, my favourite item is the 50 pence the, um, set of uh, footprints. Because I wasn't sure, because I only had 9 inch ones, I, I gave all these away. And I was super duper happy just then that this actually fits. Because this looks like a right, a right screw that to me. So all I've got to do is work something out with that and I'm done. And I think it's that makes all the difference having it in like an old battered nail screw, nut thumb screw on that. So my favourite's the, the, the screw. <laughs> Don't know what your favourite is. Um, these glasses are kind of cool um all cool so put in the comments which is your favorite item i'm so glad the car boots have started i've been so depressed I, i've been suicidal um to be honest um, absolutely suicidal and um, i've spent a fortune waiting for the car boots to open so i'm just delighted to be back in the swing of things um oh i forgot about this brass screwdriver excluding the screw i think my favorite is this brass screwdriver for 70p or whatever it was i really like it i think it's nice um, all right. Uh, thanks for you. Thanks for watching. If you've managed to get far this far in me dribble, don't forget in the comments to uh, put um, which is your favourite item and put your guess on the chessboard for guess the price. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.